I don't believe in God. Can you understand that? Look around you, man. Can't you see that the clamor and din of those in torment has to be the sound most pleasing to his ears? And I loathe these conversations. The argument of the village atheist whose single passion is to revile endlessly that which he denies the existence of in the first place. Your fellowship, it's a fellowship of pain and nothing more. And if that pain were actually collective instead of simply reiterative, then the sheer weight of it would cause the walls of this universe to come crashing and burning into whatever night it was yet capable of engineering until it was not even ash. <laughs> and brotherhood? Justice? Eternal life? Good God, man. Show me a religion that prepares one for, for death, for nothingness. Now, there's a church I might enter, but yours, yours, uh, it prepares one only for more life, for dreams and illusions and lies. I tell you, if you could banish the fear of death from men's hearts, they wouldn't live a day. Who would want this nightmare if not for fear of the next? The shadow of the axe, it, it hangs over every joy, every road ends in death. Or worse. Every love, every friendship, every pain, every suffering, sadness, misery, indignity, and hideous, lingering illness. All with one single conclusion. There's your true brotherhood, your true fellowship, and everyone is a member for life. And you tell me that my brother is my salvation. My salvation! Well, then damn him. Damn him in every guise and every shape and every form. And do I see myself in him? Yes. I see myself in him, and what I see it sickens me. Do you understand me? Can you understand me?